Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to share this exercise that it goes down really well when I do the online lessons. And it's about a pages and scale using the chord tones. So let's say I'm in G minor. We all know the chord tones in G minor. It's just G, B flat, D, and F. When uh, you're playing over the G minor as a static chord, of course, the first scale that you, it comes to mind to play is the G Dorian. Yep, G Dorian behind the key of F. And so we have a B flat and not B natural. So when I'm playing over that chord, I have two options. I'm playing in the arpeggio and the scale or scale in the arpeggios. I think I did a short a while ago about this. What I'm trying to do is trying to get most of the range out of the bass and trying to play a two octave arpeggios and then going back with the scale for each chord tone. So starting from the G, you know, I have this shape here, which is a minor shape. And I go G, B flat, D, F, G, B flat, D. I'm already up to fifth, right? So, and then in this position, I go back with the scale. If you're wondering, okay, yeah, you're using the modes. Really, I'm not thinking of this. I know there is a B flat within the scale, yeah? And I'm playing over the chord tones. So, Already, I'm really inside that chord, you know, and I'm spelling out all the, the important notes. So this is, for me, a G minor 7 arpeggio that I can use over that chord, you know? So the next chord tone is B flat. So from B flat, I'm playing instead a major 7 arpeggio, you know? So, A, B flat, D, F, repeat, and now I'm already up to the seventh, you know? And then I go back with the scale. And that is from B flat. Now from the D, from the fifth, we have a minor shape. So, and then from F, from the seventh. Yeah, I'm playing an F major seven arpeggio. And I start from the seventh, you know? From Z. From B flat. From G. Now, this way for me, when I'm playing over a G minus seven, yeah, and to avoid thinking too many arpeggios or too many scales, because when you go and play, you really want to play them in a good time. So for me, a G minor is all, is all these positions. G minor is all this for me. It's super easy to remember. So let me show you what it sounds like with the backing track. And of course, I'm grooving and then I want to try to play a feel uh, with those positions. It's so easy. I just need to remember four notes. And then I can use their pages and the scales that are within that box. You know, people against box playing. There's nothing wrong with it. So, 